it's Friday, so Jackie's back with us today with some more results. Jackie, what have you got for us today? Well, you may remember last year we appealed for information about some burglaries at some upmarket apartments in Battersea, South London. Uh, now, we had some tens of thousands of pounds worth of jewellery was stolen in these cases, and we showed some really clear CCTV pictures and reconstructed what happened. February last year, and Sandra Burroughs went to work as usual. Little did she know that two burglars were about to steal her life's possessions. The burglars were seen approaching her upmarket block of apartments. Whilst one pressed the buzzers, the other made sure he wasn't leaving any fingerprints. They were smartly dressed to fit in with their surroundings, so no one would ask questions. Um, they've uh, obviously uh, put a lot of thought into it and very, very well organised and planned. They made their way up to Sandra's flat on the sixth floor and forced their way in, stealing more than £11,000 worth of treasured possessions and heirlooms, ransacking every room. Very angry, obviously, with them, that they probably think, you know, we can we take all these things and they can just you know, claim on their insurance and they'll be fine, but, you know, the loss of the you know, sentimental items are just not replaceable. And the burglars wanted more. They moved next door where they stole over £2,000 worth of possessions. To add insult to injury, they also took the owner's car, caught on CCTV, driving out of the underground car park. Realising the key had gone, get in the lift, go down the lift, go into the garage, see the empty space where the car was, and it was just like, bang, there you go, there's, there's the final hit. But Sandra decided to fight back. She printed off leaflets with photos of the burglars for her neighbours. And as a result, she found out the thieves had struck again. CCTV showed the burglars approaching nearby apartments and then again in the garage area. This time they escaped with £150,000 worth of jewellery. But Crime Watch Roadshow was about to end their spree. It's such a horrible crime, isn't mm. it? So how are the offenders eventually identified? Well, we had loads of calls from our wonderful viewers, and one of rec them recognised both men, which led to the arrest of a couple of Essex lads. 25-year-old Larry Allen Coonler, Coonley, sorry, from Bentwood in Essex, and 28-year-old Adam Jury from Romford. OK, so the names are given, they knew who that's fine, and, and they're actually in prison. One was in prison at the time. Yeah, it's ironic, isn't it? Actually, Cooley was in prison for another un unrelated offence when he saw himself actually on television in his cell <laughs> in the, on the programme, and, and in his, use his own words, he was seriously spooked when he saw that. Um, but once the police had his name, they obviously went to see him, and they also tracked down Jury, who was working as a plumber at the time. So oh, It was a, a successful prosecution as well, they both got sentenced. Yeah, they both pleaded guilty. Cooley was sentenced to 18 months imprisonment and jury to two years, so Brilliant. really, really but strong. We saw there, though, there was a lot of sentimental items that were stolen in the burglary, and, and was any of that recovered? Sadly, no, um, and that's the real sadness of this. Sandra Burroughs, you saw in that film, was the real heroine of this case, actually. She put a lot of personal effort into catching these guys, and uh, actually, though, she was delighted with the results, as we're going to see. I think if we hadn't gone to Crime Watch Roadshow, they wouldn't have caught them because um, there, there were no other leads that the police could pursue other than these fantastic pictures that we had of them on CCTV and having, you know, aired that on TV, we were able to, to get a result. Well, I was very happy that they caught up with them because the, the biggest thing, I think, was knowing that they were still out there and that they were going to do this to other people and I was really happy that they, they managed to, to catch them as a result of the show. Well, uh... A small amount of closure for the, for the very brave victim there. And you're going to be back later on to give us uh, some more results for the whole series. Oh, yes. Brilliant. We'll see you then. Thank you, Jackie. Thank you, Sean. Now, as it's our last show, Jackie's back to tell us how we've been doing over the past month. And it's been pretty busy, isn't it? It has been really busy, Rav. Yeah, we've had loads of calls. And in fact, all the information has been handed over to police. Arrests are being made, properties being recovered, and lots of really strong new lines of inquiry have been taken on by detectives. So it's fantastic as ever. Yeah, that's what we want. And we've had some good feedback from viewers on the advice that we've been giving out as well. Yeah, it's really heartening to know they've, uh, how they've embraced all the, 
tips that we've been giving, you know, uh, con people who've been pretending to be blank employees and giving, you know, uh, conning people into giving out uh, pin numbers. You know, it, even Dyson repairman, yeah. you know, distraction burglaries involving people purporting to be awesome. gas people. You know, all those sorts of things are just so easy to stick in your mind and prevent crime for the future. Yeah, because for me, I think prevention is better than doing anyway. So if we can stop a crime happening, that is still a massive plus for everyone concerned. So great to be back, Jackie, and really nice to be working with you for one more time.